G'day, I'm Lockie Poole, um, and this is my Gold 79 series. And I'm Matt Chanoff, and this is my Cruiser. We sort of just started messaging each other online when you started your core conversion. Yeah, I hit him up for a couple of questions on my call conversion, slid into his DMs and uh, yeah, just started from there, just back and forth, messaging like, oh, how should I do this? What should I do here? And um, yeah, then next thing you know, I'm up here doing a cape trip with him, working in his shed. And yeah, so we've just been pushing each other. Yeah. I'll do one thing, he'll do another thing and then <laughs> yeah. see you can do it better. Yeah, I was sort of growing up, I used to always be into motorbikes. I went through the phase of BMX and whatnot when I was younger and then got into motorbikes and I was loving that and had a few different bikes and ended up, I had a YZ250 and had it for about five days and binned it and yeah, that put me in the hospital for about two months and 13 operations and I was off work for nearly a year all up so and I sort of thought, oh, I'll have to give this away. I can't be doing this, too risky, so I thought, what else can I do? And I thought, well, four wheel driving's a bit safer. So yeah, once I got back to it, I um, started looking. I've always loved cruisers, so I thought that's what I'm gonna get. I don't know, leaf springs and how they're set up from factories, it's not, not the best for four wheel driving, but um, I sort of had plans right from the start. I thought, I'm gonna get this cruiser, I'm just gonna pull it apart, and I'm just gonna make it something good, so. That's what I've done. I've had a couple others. I had a Rodeo from his first car, dirty old RA Rodeo. Um, then I had a Triton, dirty old Triton. But um, yeah, I took that up the high country. It went pretty well too, but that's like the first little case of four wheel driving was just in a Triton. So I've gone from that to this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, when I first got it, <clears throat> Pretty much pulled it straight in the shed, done a tray, then put it on the hoist and I cut all the chassis part, done an 80 series core conversion in it, so that was the first big thing. I was running around for like two months on an 80 series core conversion on like a one inch lift because I just didn't get around to doing anything else that was just yeah, straight into it. I've been through about three bull bars, this is my third tray, a um, few exhaust systems, but basically where I'm at now, I built this custom bar myself. Um, I built this whole custom tray myself, it's aluminium. Um, I've built the exhaust system myself, that's a four inch stainless system in the twin stacks. Um, the actual cab, it's been cab swapped with a 2020 cab, it used to be a 2012. Um, and I already sprayed that myself as well. So, and then we got a clear wrap on it. Um, there's a heap of other good stuff in there. Got some nice remote res shocks and a fair bit of flex, so. But yeah, um, also run a DFI torsion sway bar in the back, so that makes it drive real nice. Yeah, well, I've always, I've been, a, I'm a diesel mechanic by trade, so I work on trucks every day. My old man's got a couple of Kenworths, always been around trucks, so I thought, oh, it'd look pretty cool if I put some stacks on these things, so. Yeah, I've always had the idea of doing it. It took me about six months to actually make the whole system and hook it up, or just do a little bit here and there, and yeah, when I got it hooked up, I loved it, and never looked back now, so. But yeah, it's all come together now and this is what it is today. Yeah, so I grew up in central Queensland and I've always gone camping with my family and it sort of stemmed from there. I was always into watching all the videos online of Ford forward driving and before I even had my car, I sort of already knew that I wanted a cruiser one day. It's always just been that dream car that I always wanted. So my first car that I had it was a Hilux, it was a dual cap Hilux. I did a few mods to it. I was, I was getting ready to really start doing some cool stuff to it. And then one of dad's mates told him that he was selling his cruiser. And I mean, that day I took my car down, sold it and had the money ready to buy this here. I was that keen, it was like, didn't care. I wanted a cruiser. So the plan always was to just drive it, just go camping and stuff. And I need to do a couple minor things to it, put a locker in it, that'd probably be it. And then with my free time, I just started tinkering around, doing a couple changes and the mods just got bigger and bigger.
So I had the Leafs in at first, and I sort of got them flexing pretty good, but I could never get them right. It was either the car was sitting too low, or it was too rough. So I decided to do the chop to go a cool conversion. So I used an 80 series rear end. I had that for a couple of years, and I started getting into the power mods, and that's when things really started to change, and it really started to pick up. So I've always been a person that if I'm not happy with something, I don't care, I'm just gonna change it till I'm happy with it. So it's probably been through about four or five different stages, each one changing a bit and a bit, getting a bit more intense each time. I just wanted to push myself, do something I hadn't done before, and I wasn't really happy with my five link, so I wanted to do the four link, and then I thought I'd just do the whole lot. So one day I had no, no idea how it was gonna end up. I just took the ute in the shed, hacked away at it with a grinder and a plasma, chopped all the mounts off it, and then just it stemmed from there. All I had was the cool over sitting in the back of the shed to give me motivation. So for work, I've done a few different things. Um, I actually went to uni and did accounting when I left school. And then I decided that wasn't for me. So I started working with my old man as a business. So I was doing stickers and signs. And I helped him for four years building a house. Um, built the shed, did a heap of different work and sort of ended up where I am now. So we took three weeks off to um, do the trip and yeah, it was beautiful, we loved it. A lot of good tracks up there, a lot of water, pretty hard going too. It was the first trip in my ute, so I'd had it in the shed for six months, hadn't even driven it after I rolled it, so it was a good first test for it and seemed to handle everything pretty good, so. And this was the first test in um, my ute with the coil conversion, with the coil overs, so it was pretty nerve wracking at first, but it handled it like a champ. Yeah, so we, we're planning our next trip. We're going through the centre. Um, we're going through the Simpson Desert, down to Alice Springs and through to Uluru. Down to Adelaide, do the Flinders Ranges, a bit of everything. So haven't had a look out there before. So go for a good look around the countryside. Yeah, when I first started doing this cab swap and I got this new cab, I painted it gold and I'm putting up all these TikToks and photos. And obviously I was in the shed for like six months. So I couldn't even drive it. And people all comment, no, oh, look at this mall crawler. This thing will never go off road. And, yeah, and then I, um, first trip in it, out of town. First time I left town, I left across the border to go to Cape York. So now I'll smashed the door up there and done a couple other little things. Now they're all like, oh, you're just gonna take it and you're just gonna wreck it every time you drive it. And it's like, you can't win what you no. do. So but yeah, you just rate them, it's a good laugh. Look, stay tuned guys for tomorrow's episode where we check out Paulie's Cruiser up close for the full walk around and also the week after we're checking out Matt's Cruiser as well with a full walk around and then the boys take on the four challenges. Now I had a ton of fun filming with these guys, a couple of awesome cruisers, so stick around for those episodes. Um, they'll be coming very soon. Um, you're probably noticing I'm wearing something different, a bit of a sneak peek because next week the full summer range is dropping. We got bucket hats, we got some new shirts, we got caps, we got new stubby coolers, all sorts of stuff. And we've even got a dress shirt as well. I've got something a bit nice, build it your way on the back so you can go out. The buckets are reversible as well, which is pretty cool, so you can have it either way. Actually, next Tuesday is gonna be the biggest video of the year dropping. Jump over to my Instagram for some sneak peeks. I'm gonna be dropping some teasers this week, but I've been working on this project for a little while. So dropping next week is the biggest video of the year and the merchandise summer drop. You don't wanna miss it. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If it wasn't for you guys watching the channel, I couldn't be doing this and creating content for you guys. So thank you so much. It means the world to me that you guys follow along, even if it's just a like and a comment. But if you wanna check out the merchandise, I'll drop a link down below. You don't have to buy anything. Just make sure you share the love. Keep watching the videos, guys. We'll see you next week. Hello guys and welcome to Built Not Bought HQ. Make sure to click on the far left to subscribe to the channel. Click down below to see the latest episode if you missed it. And don't forget our merchandise on our website. See you in the next episode.